What is up, guys? AFL Fantasy Guru here. What a crazy, crazy uh, week of footy. The games itself, Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. What a finish. Um, comebacks from the Hawks and uh, Carlton still getting the win. Games like that. Absolutely crazy. Geelong's comeback. I watched that. That was big. I was unfortunately away for the weekend and I got hit with a bit of an unlucky trade. Um, they named Maurice Rioli in. I had Kane Baldwin in um, for, well, I had Kane Baldwin out of the team, Maurice Rioli in. Um, I thought he was definitely playing and then they changed it. They took him out. So I got, uh, as soon as the Essendon game came into play, that trade got locked in. So I lost the trade for no reason, which is unfortunate. It happens. That's the game. That's uh, what we've got to keep going in, but uh, keep going with. But as I said to you guys, so far, this trade looks immensely good for my team. Um, a lot of people will be getting this guy in. Braden Pruce, especially off the uh, GWS win, a massive 108. I took out Jack Hayes, which I think he got a 45 for memory. Um, what did Steele get, by the way? 101. Okay. Um, Jack Hayes. Isn't that Jack Hayes? Yeah, there we go. 45 yeah so that that proves to be i think the paddy rider thing as i said proved to be a bit of a hit to his score he might be sort of towards his uh his uh value i mean he's still he it's still good but he, he's going to be someone you trade out soon but for me you know getting Pruce in you know uh, a price change in 44 he's going to make me a lot more especially if gws continue to win uh and he continues to be the sole rock which i think for now that will be the case scenario because their first win came with him as the sole rock so that's looking good maxi gone um for those that traded to team english uh that were asking about it congratulations uh i'm still holding good on um the set and forget rule uh, I'm going to watch out for things like Sam Skinner, who I think may not be named in the team this week. We'll see if Maurice Riol is named in. My ideal trade will be um, going to Heaney this week, guys. I think he is uh, getting to the point of, of a must-have, especially if I go AFL fixtures. I'm pretty sure they've got West Coast and North Melbourne coming up. Um, no. I don't know. Am I right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, it is Sydney versus... North Melbourne, Sydney versus West Coast, and then Sydney versus Hawthorne, who give up a lot of points, Sydney versus Brisbane, and then Gold Coast. So they've got quite a good run. If I were you and I, you didn't have Heaney and you can afford to do it, I'd recommend that. Um, it's going to be my play. I think Rochelle's done his time. He's made us a little bit of cash, and it's time to move on forward from him. Even Ralph Smith made me a bit of money. At the moment, I'm at 16.63 million value. Not bad. Cripps, one of my highest, uh, biggest recommended targets to get. Uh, he's just playing insanely, insanely well at the moment. I think a lot of people would have had him vice captain, then done a loophole. So, unfortunate for me, I had captain as Lockie Neal. Apparently, he walked off with a limp um, or had a bit of an injury to him. Uh, it just is what it is. That's how the game is played. Matty Rowe with 87, sort of okay. Um, but, I mean, Matt Crouch is proving to be uh, a really good grab as well. Uh, Tuke Miller, 68. Really unfortunate there. Uh, I think I feel, I feel really sorry for the people that had him as captain, you know. You don't expect that type of score. I'm still not impressed with Lockie Whitfield. Jaden Short, of course, I'm loving um, now. He's really coming through to play. What did my boy Lloydy get, um, who I told people to get in? A 93, interesting. I mean, that game, a lot of a lot of 50s uh, expect Lloyd and Heaney to get a bounce back. I mean, Heaney, guys, gets a 95, I think it was off that game that they had against Western Bulldogs where everything sort of went wrong with them. So I still think he's a great grab. Zach Butters with a very average game. That's really piss poor, to be honest. Um, so trades-wise, uh, look out for those rookies again. I'm still waiting on the team lineups, but ideally I'm wanting to, to get in um, to get in Heaney. May, possible play here could be um, the Rochelle out. uh <sighs> 
I just can't drop Gorn yet. I can't do it. I still think there's more left to him. Yeah, uh, look, I'm going to try and get Heaney, guys, but really we're going to see what happens with team lineups because if Sam Skinner and Maurice Rioli are not named, I'm going to be in some trouble for cash gen, so we're going to have to just replace those with um, with the old, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, rookie replacement um captains this week uh i'll go through that in another video also coldwell still making me some good good cash uh 30k plus 81 season price change so we'll hopefully a, a better game from him this week they have some easier opponents of adelaide so I hope for a really good score there but if you have any questions on your trades what you're wanting to do um you know what to do put it in the comments like subscribe and geez to coning you need to step up your game peace speak to you soon and uh oh obviously 2016 we've dropped uh we've gone down in rank still um but really we're still focusing on cash gen it is a game um of a lot of rounds don't rush into your trades and learn cash gen wins see you guys soon peace